Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony, and I'm sorry that this video is coming out on a Thursday instead of a Wednesday. I just had a lot of stuff that involved eh, kind of doing nothing. I honestly just kind of forgot, so I'm sorry. Um, but I'll be having two videos today. Um, recording this one in advance, I won't have a chance to post it tonight, so I'll upload it on Thursday, which is when you'll be seeing it right now <laughs> and um and then i'll do my p uh, picks for week 10 god it's week 10 already <sighs> all right so did the eagles go up or did they go down this week and my honest opinion they went up and why i mean one they beat the cowboys they beat a division rival in a clutch manner you know they kind of it was kind of a back and forth game, you know. Cowboys are winning, Eagles tied up, e Eagles are winning, Dallas ties it up, Eagles are winning, Dallas ties it up, Eagles are winning, Dallas ties it up, so on and so forth. And then when they finally get down to the p part of the game where they can win it, they win it in the greatest way that I ever imagined. Demarco Murray running it up, running it up, getting 46 yards of offense, sending us, getting us into the position for the 41 yarder. And Jordan Matthews makes the clutch catch this time, and we win it. Is that progress? <laughs> yes, it is progress. And you know what? Besides losing Jordan Hicks, we're getting DeMar uh, D'Amico Ryan's back. I think we'll be good for the Dolphins and the Buccaneers. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, I'm kind of rushing this, and I'm sorry, but there's not much to say. I mean, the Eagles, they beat a division rival in overtime. I believe it was like the first overtime win that Chip Kelly has this as, as as the coach of the Eagles. Um, and you have the Eagles going home playing Miami, and we have Dallas or not Dallas, um, New York Giants going to play Tom Brady. What do you think is going to happen next week? My personal opinion is that the Eagles will take first place. Yes, by half a game, because, you know, uh, New York hasn't gone on their bye, but they can take the division next week, and they can run away with it. I mean, the Redskins are a lost cause. Dallas has dug them into too deep of a hole to come out of when Roma gets back. For all we know, they can be 2 seven. They're playing the Buccaneers. The Giants barely picked them out last week until the last quarter where the Buccaneers were like, eh, it's one minute left. We just kind of gave up. But, yeah. That team right there, wherever he is, right there, <laughs> they're no joke, you know? And, um, I mean, you look at the Giants' schedule, they have dates with the Patriots and the Car and the Panthers, and then you look at, um, the Cowboys, they have dates, two dates with the Redskins, and then one with Green Bay at Lambeau, so... You know, and I'm not even going to include the Redskins. But yes, the Eagles did, you know, go up, you know, in, um, in the power rankings for the NFL. The Eagles went from 19 to 16. New York went from 11 to 12. Dallas is still at 22. And then Redskins went from 19 to 20. So, I can't, I can't. the positives in, the, in that was like, you know, the Eagles... Had Bradford look really good. The running game was on point. The receivers were actually connecting with Bradford. The defense, they held up, made some plays. They lost a playmaker, but they'll be receiving a playmaker when they get D'Amico Ryans back. So, and, and they have Kiko Alonso back. I mean, he, he was available, and he played a little bit against Dallas, so that's also good. So, and the special teams, we didn't get to see much because, you know, there wasn't... um. There weren't any kicks, any punts, really, that entire game. It was a really, it was a really good game, a much more scoring game than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like seventeen to twenty, but hey, you know what? They went up. I'll talk to you guys tom tonight. See you guys later. Go Eagles! Yeah.